me. I watched a G5 movie. This is like post aftermath of G4. And I was very closely uh, like attached to G4 at the time because it helped me raise my, because it helped me through college. Imagine just seeing G5 and just G5 completely shitting on everything that G4 has set up to accomplish and then just completely ruining the lore of it in just one episode. Absolutely disgusting. I cannot even watch G G5 in its current state because I tried watching one episode. What was, what was it fucking? Zipper Will? Zipper Dash? She has this whole gimmick where she pretends to be a spy and every time the spy music would just keep repeating every single time she does the spy thing. Oh my god, I wanted to fucking punch a wall. It worked in G4 because it's pinky. And she does it sparingly. She doesn't do it every single five seconds. Very first episode of Making Mark. It was 40 minutes long and it felt like fucking ages because nothing happens in it. I was waiting for something to happen and until it got half an hour mark, I'm like, oh wow, finally, something happening. And then it turns out that Earth Ponies can suddenly use magic now. I'm like, great. Earth Ponies can be magical too. Like, fuck me. Fuck Earth Ponies trying to tend to the land using their hooves and their elements and shit. No, Earth Ponies can also use magic now. Thank you very much. We're retconning G4 one step at a fucking time. Earth Ponies now have magic, which means they're on the same level as unicorns and Pegasi. Fuck me. Oh my god. Oh, it, oh, it annoys me. As a G4 fan, it fucking annoys me. How they assassinated Twilight's character just for her being fucking petty. She had an argument with a bunch of friends instead of, instead of being like, listen, we could talk this out. Friendship is all about exploring people's differences and not coming to an agreement on things and understanding each other. Instead, she's like, well, fuck you. I'm going to split the whole thing into shards so that all the ponies in the future can find them. Like, what the fuck? All these lessons about friendship that she's learned for the past nine seasons because of Princess Celestia and Luna were all for nothing. All the build that they had in G4 is completely fucking ruined because they, they tried to rewrite the whole fucking thing down to Twilight being the most pettiest piece of shit ever. When she wasn't the pettiest piece of shit ever. She was built up throughout night. She had the whole arc. But she got wings and shit. Three seasons took her, and all she had to do is learn the magic of friendship and rewrite Star Wings Star Swell's spell. That's it. It felt deserved. At the time, people are like, eh, I'm not really big on it, but they're okay with it now because they sort of peed into it, making Twilight not the most best at flying, but they sort of worked up to that, right? With fucking oh, What the fuck was her name? Oh, Sunny. That was Sunny. What does she do? She gets the freaking pieces, and now all of a sudden she gets wings now. All of a sudden she gets wings because she put three pieces together. It took a whole fucking movie for her to get wings, but it took Twilight three fucking seasons. Like, what the fuck? Is it that easy to become an alicorn? What are princesses? What are queens? Remember the Wendigos? Yeah, what the fuck ever happened to them? They, never, they, were, they were never mentioned throughout the entire G5 ever. The Pegasi, Unicorns, and Earth Ponies were all suddenly split apart. No random reason, they're just split apart now. We, we, we had to reunite them. And now all of a sudden, they were just divided because of fucking Twilight. Like, where'd go, Twilight? Power skill, am I right? <laughs> yeah, I know, right? We need her to be the most powerful alicorn ever just because she put some fucking pieces together that Twilight disbanded. Those shards were never ever mentioned in G4. I know there were the elements of harmony, but I never knew that these pieces of crystals were ever a thing in G4. It's supposed to be connected to the G4 universe, right? Where were these crystal shards before? Okay, can I also write about something for a minute? Smartphones, okay? Get why they have smartphones. Because they're trying to appeal to a younger demographic who is to do TikTok, social media, and they carry around their phones and shit like that. But why does this have to be the focus of MLP? MLP is built on, like, it's already got technology. It has fucking trains. It has an entire city. But they have an entire character literally built to be a fucking live streamer or live vlogger and shit. And the fucking faces plastered all over the banners of, like, Sephiroth Heights or some shit. Where was Sephiroth Heights mentioned? Well, I know, I know there's Cloudsdale, but where was Sephiroth Heights during G4? Like, hello? I'm ranting about how terrible G5 is. And I've only watched, like, two episodes of it. I couldn't watch it anymore. Because after seeing the first episode and seeing Earth Ponies using magic, I'm like, okay, I am done. I'm fucking done. It only took me one episode to get me this fucking mad. What was the villain trying to do, anyway? What was she trying to do? She's trying to steal the crystal shards, right? But one time she tried to put her face on a powder mirror and then Sunny is like, oh, wow, well, that's me. I never talked to me before. How naive is Sunny? They should have made it its own thing and nobody would give a shit because all of a sudden it's tied to G4. It completely fucks up the entire canon. I watched a shitty spinoff as well and even nothing happens in that. It feels like I'm, I'm watching the second version of Pony Life. Like, Jesus Christ. I fucking hate G5 so much. If I was like watching G5, not knowing what happened to G4, I would think, wow, Twilight is actually a piece of shit. It's terrible how the people who are fans of the show 
They make way better G5 episodes. They took Dazzle, like a stupid henchman who doesn't know what she's doing, into a misunderstood pony. Oh yeah, animatic. Confrontation and consequence. This is what G5 should have fucking been, honestly. It explores like characters in deep introspection and shit. And it made them realize, people realize that they make mistakes and they have emotions that pour out. And these are like deep and dark scenes that didn't have any music in them. Like scenes like that would make MLP fucking great. But they decided to make it uh, so dull and patronizing. It's so fucking annoying. I mean, in one of the animatics, Sunny sees her dead dad and she gets emotional. She like tears up because of that. Like, God damn. That's the stuff I wanted to see in MLP. It helps to build character. It helps to build development. And in the animatics, ponies talk to each other about their feelings and what's going to happen because they let Dazzle into the group. They think she's like a villain. She's trying to betray him or something like that. And that they almost died and shit. Like they talk about those things and they uh, had so much potential. A fan knew that potential and they put it into an animatic. And I wish, I wish just so had that much potential. Fucking hell, it was such a waste of potential. The movie was actually all right. I didn't mind the fucking movie at all, even though I had loads of plot holes, questions about it. I didn't mind the movie. It's the show I have a fucking problem with. The quality is lower. I really wish they would have stuck with flash animation or 2D because they didn't have to worry about using 3D renders and shit. It looks like a huge step down. It's terrible. I just want characters to develop and become more than the sum of their own parts instead of just being like one note characters that learn something from one episode and then the next episode they're back to the way they were. Like each episode is self-contained or some shit. Oh my god. You know what you, you know what Equestria girls had? They had harpies, overpowered magical powers, breaking the space-time continuum, shattering the synapses of other worlds of Equestria. A magic that is connected to another world and we have to stop it. Misunderstood villains that wanted to be friends with people. Like, come on. And it's a fucking high school that has way more world building than fucking Gen 5 ever done. And not to mention Equestria Girls connects to the show way better than G5 connects to G5. I'm saying that because I've watched both, like, all the three movies, except the ones after that. I didn't get into one. Oh, my God. Okay, sorry. I'm done writing about G5. 